In this video, I'm gonna show you a new feature in Inventory Manager that's gonna save you so much time when you're adding products to your store. It's gonna change the way you do business for the better. So in this example, let's say that we are over here uh, taking, a, we're gonna receive these items into our store. And we start scanning. Everything's going great. And then we come across this barcode and there we get an alert saying, this is not in our store, would you like to add this now? So you can add it right now or you can delay. And so I'm gonna hit cancel and then I'm gonna head over to the settings and I'm gonna enable distraction free scanning. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to suppress all of these alerts until the end. So I'm gonna refresh the page and then that'll load in that new setting and then we're going to carry on. We'll go ahead and grab this second bag and then we'll scan these other products. So now at this point all we need to do is enter in the title. The first one was dog treats. And now you see a valid UPC, which means that it is in the store and everything is great. Now the next one is a barcode ending in 88. And so that is the pink ink. And the last one will be the computer cable. And we could update to this current stock levels right now, but let's take a look at what's going on in the background. We'll head on over to the product page and we'll refresh the page. And here you see three new products. They're in draft mode. We have the computer cable, the pink ink, and the marrow roast. The barcodes are already assigned and the stock levels are at zero because we have not yet applied the update. So we'll go ahead and update the stock levels. Refresh the page. And there you have the correct inventory for the newly received items. Very easy to do. You are not limited to uploading barcodes one at a time. You can also do these all at once with our multiple barcode upload feature. So let's take the same order that we had before and we're gonna upload all of our barcodes at once. Now I'll refresh the page and we'll take a look. And there they are, just like they were before as if you had scanned them individually. And we can just repeat the same process. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll put a download link to Inventory Manager in the description below.